everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really nice, it's a reinforced box and it's a pen box. So inside, um, take off this belly band, which I've stamped, and this is a thank you gift. And then inside here, you can see it's got a really flush closure all the way around. I'm using my craft card because I love it. And then inside is the pen and it's set in foam. So I've used fun foam for this. And again, it's all reinforced. It's got this lip all around it. And then you just take out your pen. And I've put some pink in there just to kind of tie in the pink and the green there from the belly band. So um, yeah, it's, it's pretty straightforward to make. A little bit fiddly having to cut this bit out, but other than that, it's really, really straightforward. And it's a nice reinforced box if you want to use it for jewelry instead. So, um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing. I've brought these pens, these are from Walmart. I've used these before, so they just make nice gifts. Um, and it just slides back in like so. So that's what I'm going to make. So I'll pop that to one side. The one I'm doing today is Father's Day. So I have got this stamp set, which I've used once and I brought a long time ago, 2016. Um, but I'm going to use the nice big Happy Father's Day because it does fit. I was sitting it over there. It should fit perfectly on that belly band. Um, so yeah, like I said, this is Do Cross Paper Mania. You could probably still find this on um, eBay and Amazon. So but if I find any links, I'll share them. So I'm using the craft card again, but this time I'm using all blue with the foam. And I'm gonna talk you through all of that in a minute. And I've got a template there as well, which is easier with. It's two um, of these trays that you make to form your box and they're both the same size. So I've already made one. So you are going to need, we'll do the belly band later as well. So you need two pieces of four by nine, okay? That's for your base and your lid. Then you need one piece of one by seven, which is gonna be our hinge. And then this piece here is 10 and three quarters by three quarters of an inch. And this is gonna be what forms the little lip around the edge. Um, and we're gonna trim just a little bit off both of these. It's just easier to cut it to that length and then just trim a little bit off rather than faff about with those silly measurements. So, um, yeah, I need to score, don't we? I'm just about to get rid of it and we've got to score it. So, you'll have two pieces of these. On both pieces, you wanna score at half an inch and at one inch and do that on all four sides. Half an inch, one inch, and again, half an inch and the last one okay and do that on both of your pieces then with your piece here which is your hinge so this is the one by seven yep and you want to score along the one inch side just at half an inch all the way down this piece here we're going to pinch it and then just burnish it so we don't need to worry about scoring that for now okay so let's get rid of that and we need to burnish this one. So again, you'll have two pieces. You just wanna go around and just burnish all the score lines. If you're using the craft card like I am, you do need to really work these. Okay, so that's what it will look like. And then we need to do some cutting. So all we're doing here is making a reinforced box, um, just how you would any other one. So for those of you that know how to do this, you can just whiz through it, but I always talk through it. So start from the shorter side here and just cut up every one of these score lines up to the second score line. So go past the first one up to the second, and that one there. Then the two outer ones you want to remove completely. Like so, cut in there a bit better, never mind. And that one. Okay, so you'll be left with those two and this middle piece. With these two here, you want to then remove just the top square. So cut along that score line there. And these will be your little tabs. So now that's what you should have. This one here with the two bits and then the little tabs. And then you just want to go around and take little wedges off of all the sides. So that one and that one. You can see there, I'm just taking tiny little triangles off the corners. And this will just help fold everything in and keep it all nice and neat. You won't have anything hanging over the edges, like so. So if I just lie that one down, that's what you will have, okay? So now you wanna rotate the whole piece and you wanna do exactly that again. 
Okay, so that's both of my ends now, so it should look like this. And you need to do that on the other piece, so you'll have two pieces like this. Then we need to glue it all together. So let's get rid of all these pieces here. Okay, so I'm just using my wet glue, and you just want to pop it on the top of these ones here. Just do one end at a time, and then just bring it under. So fold this down and tuck it underneath there and bring up that side and just make sure that you've got a nice right angle any glue you can just wipe away and just make sure that is perfectly lined up because that is what's creating the side of your box here and then the same with that one bring it under and create your other corner okay like so and then you want to do the same on this end here. So again, splodge your glue on each one and then just stick them down. Okay, so that's now what you will have and you'll have these pieces all sticking up. Now what you want to do is glue inside. So I'll start with the ends first and just again run your glue along like so and then you're going to fold it right over inside the tray, box, lid, base, whatever it's going to be. And just with your bone folder, especially if you're working with the craft card, just work that in and really burnish the sides there and it will just create a really nice side there. And that's now reinforced. And when that glue dries really um, hard, when the, when the glue dries, it will be really hard. Okay. You want to do that on all three sides. So I'm going to do the other end and then fold down my two sides, okay? Okay, so that is what you will have. And you need to have two of those. So I'd already done one before. So that is now what you want. You just want to need, need to make sure they're all perfectly lined up. Again, if you follow those measurements and score lines, they should be. So now we want to add our hinge. So this piece here, which was that one by seven. Yeah, one by seven? Yeah, it was, wasn't it? One by seven, yeah. What you want to do, because now that is gonna sit inside here. So mine does just squeeze in, and even though it's buckling, that'd be fine, because we'll stick it down. If it isn't, if it's really, really buckling, and when you go to push it, it's gonna cause a crease line, you don't want that. You just wanna take the smallest slither off. So if I just grab a piece of scrap, literally just cut something like that off and just keep doing that until it fits. It's just easier to do that than cut it at a, what, six and 15 sixteenths of an inch or 14 sixteenths of an inch and stuff like that. It's much easier to just do this. I don't need to, it actually does fit in there okay and it's really snug, which is what you want. So just burnish it and then inside one of the sides, it doesn't matter which one, um, and just again adding my glue. This is the, um, Original Tacky Glue, Aline's, and I use it all the time. It's the only glue I use, that and Tombow. Okay, pop this in, and you wanna push it in so it's completely flush with the bottom, and it should come up, and that score line should meet the top of that um, piece. Again, decide what you want to be the lid and so on. It doesn't, still doesn't matter at this point because you can just turn it over. But just get your bone folder and just, again, make sure that is all in like so and then just bend it completely over like that just to kind of help it in its new position and if it lifts off slightly from the bottom that's fine because that's where it obviously it does want to naturally be okay so that is what you will have this piece hanging over so now we want to put glue on this top back piece Okay, and then with this piece, you want to, again, pop it inside. And it will just, you want it to be nice and a tight fit, like so. And then you don't want to open this up. You need your ruler or bone fold. I'm going to use my ruler because it's got the corners there so I can get right in. Keeping it closed, making sure it's flush on the back, like so and then just push it down until it is set. You don't really want to be opening this until it's all stuck down. But if you've got a ruler, 
you can just keep working on it until it's all stuck down in place. And this is just going to give you that really nice join on the back. Okay, so don't rush this. You really need to make sure your glue is dry before you start pulling it apart. Okay, and then as you're happy, as you're happy, once you're happy that it has started to stick, you can open it up a bit more with your, thing, with your finger and your thumb. You can really make sure it's all pushed down and just keep prising it open. And you just want to, again, don't rush it because the last thing you want is it all pinging off. But now, as that is all coming over, I can bring the whole thing back over on itself like so okay so you can see now i've got a nice join on the back don't worry that it's all going over on the sides here and let it's going down like that that's fine that's what it's going to do that's when this piece here is going to come in to play so moving us on nicely grab this piece and the easiest way to do this i'm going to start with the left hand side here is you want to butt it right up into the corner top left hand corner here of the base or the lid so this is when you want to decide whether you want that to be the top or the bottom Okay, because this now will become the bottom. So pop that in there, so it's right up in the corner. Holding it there with your finger and your thumb, with this hand, bring it up and start to push it right up into the top, this left, this then, well that's top left, this bottom left hand corner. Okay, again, then hold that corner and keeping it completely flush with the bottom, work all the way along and get to the next corner and again, Get it right in there and then if you've got it if the end isn't going down which mine isn't it's just a little bit too long now i've got a crease there and a crease there i'm going to take another tiny little piece off less is more less is more no do less this isn't when you would use that phrase but take a little bit off first don't go in taking loads off pop it back in again and i think yeah again you want it to really wedge in that is going to fit there perfectly Okay, so now that is all in there. You can see you should have a quarter of an inch lip. So now I'm going to take it back out, fold each of those corners and burnish it. And again, just line it up. And again, pop it back in. And it should now fit in there really neatly. And you've got a nice corner. Okay, and it goes, marries right up to the back there. So now you want to add glue all along the bottom. You don't want to go all the way up because obviously you've got some of it overhanging. So half of half of it, not half of it, sorry, half an inch of it you can cover in glue. Okay, like so. And then bring in the two sides like that. Pop the front in first and then the sides will just go in like so and then pop it on its front you can't see this but I'm just popping my bone tool right in there and just rubbing that down make sure it is flush and it's flat because you don't want to lift it up and some of it's wonky and it's not quite stuck down so well on one side to the other and again just work all that glue okay so you can see that's now stuck and now when you close it you should have a really nice snug closure like so. Okay, so that is now a nice box. You could put jewellery in that, you could put a watch. There's lots of watches, you know, they're, they're in the fashion shops where they're just hanging, they don't come in boxes. This would be perfect for that. And again, then it opens up really nicely. And you should have that kind of, you want that sound. You want to know that it's really kind of gripping it. Okay, so that is the box, so that's easy. Now we want to do this foam piece inside. So what I recommend you do first is you make a template because I found I done before I started cutting them without a template and it just I was going wonky and it just wasn't working very well. Um, so if you cut a piece of cardstock that is um, what have I got here six and seven eighths of an inch by one and seven eighths of an inch. OK, so cut that out. Then the next thing now is this is when it's down to you because this is all about whatever pen you're going to put in it because pens are different lengths. Um, and from what I've kind of measured myself, they range from kind of like five. So I've got this one here, um, which is, well, this is five and a quarter. And then the one I used 
in here, which seems to be more of a popular length. This one is five and a half, but there is also things like this. So this one here is five and three quarters, almost five and seven eighths. So you need to decide what pen you want to use. <clears throat> now I haven't actually brought the pen for this one. So I am going to do some guesswork and the kind of pen I want to you to, to, to give is gonna be similar to this. So I'm gonna go with five and um, yeah, do the same as this one that I've already got, which is five and three quarters, that's fine. So you wanna grab the pen that you're gonna use. So I'm gonna get this one out again. And to make the template, so imagine this is it. I haven't cut this out yet. You're gonna put your pen over the top and with a pencil, you wanna mark the top of the pen the bottom of the pen and then the sides. But when you do the sides, hold the pencil down completely straight. Don't go under because obviously it's a circular shape. You're actually gonna go in thinner and then your pen won't fit in. Make sure you go straight down, just mark the sides of the pen like so. And then you just wanna, with your ruler, line and drew a pen, draw a pencil from one end to the other. And again, on the other side, one end to the other. And then just cut that out with your cutting knife. Okay, and that then becomes your template. Then you want to cut um, one, two, three, four, yes, yeah, six. I think it was six. Did I use six? Let me just check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it was six. So then you want six pieces of this same size. So it was one and seven eighths by six and seven eighths. Okay, six pieces. Three of them, you don't need to worry about doing your template on. They are just to lift the pen up. So these will just go straight in. Again, they should have quite a snug fit, but they will just sit straight in like so. Then these three here are the ones that we need to now cut. So we're gonna sit the template over the top and we're gonna cut straight into it. Now that's why I found it easier. And this is that craft card. So I would, I would advise you to do your template with a strong card. Um, then with a metal ruler, you want to push it down and line it up with one of the sides and then with my cutting knife you need to make sure you push against your ruler to keep the line nice and straight and just follow that template all the way down like so so you can see there how nice and straight using the template I've got my line and then I'm just going to turn it around and keeping it all nice and lined up and do the same with this one okay and then I don't need the template for the sides I can just sit my ruler over and just cut you want to be really neat and try not to go over the corners you want to try and stay right in there so you get a nice and if you're slightly out, you can then go back in again, because I now want to line that up with that piece there, like so. Okay, so this is the fiddliest part, okay? But you can see now I get this piece and then that's going to sit on top of there. We're going to glue it all down in a minute. But once you do the other two that are on top, that gives you the well to sit the pen in and it holds it in place. So I'm going to do these other two. Okay, so there's my three pieces. Now I appreciate this isn't going to be for everybody and some people may struggle with this because you do need to be really exact with it. But you can go in and tidy them up if you find, oh, there's a little bit there that doesn't look right. Um, and if you've got one better than the other, then that can be the one that sits on top. Alternatively, you can create a card, piece of cardboard that sits in there with the pen. So, but I just like to use in the foam. So now I'm just gonna sit them on top of each other, um, like so. And I think I've got one that I like better than the other. So I'm gonna put that one on the top, like that. Okay. Then I find the red tape is best for this, so take out those ones, which are now stuck in there, so I need to prise them out. Okay, so first of all, with these ones, you don't need to add a lot. I'm just going to pop a piece there, just randomly on the back. That's to stick it actually down inside. And then, 
to one there. And stick that one over the top. And then again. Just if you use the wet glue, it will just absorb into the foam and it will take ages and it won't really last because this is just another form of plastic. So you're better off using the red tape. Okay, and then take the backing off of that and just stick the whole thing in there like so. And then with these ones here, again, deciding on which one was going to be the top, I seem to have lost, I think it was that one. Yeah. So, like so, flip this one over, and again, do these all then together, stick these all. So it's that one is going to go on top of this one. <laughs> Basically, you want to stick them all on top of each other with your favourite one on top. Okay, so they're all stuck down, and then just go in from one end and work your way along sticking that all down and I'm going to use that just as the example but now that will sit nicely in its little home okay so um, close that one up actually I'll take that back out again and we can make the belly band so close that down and let's pop that one back in like so and Move my mess to one side. Where did I put it? There we go. So this piece measures five by just the default A4 length. So it can be 11 inches is fine because we're going to actually chop into it in a minute. But basically you just want to um, flip it over because that's my front. Pop the box in. I'm using my grid board below just to line it all up and make sure. I mean, it doesn't matter too much actually because I'm going to end up moving it in a minute. But you just want to bring up the sides it's easier when you're doing a wrap or a belly black belly belly <laughs> a belly band to do it like this now i'm just going to trim a chunk off of that side and then bring up this one and again just pinch around the corners and then just trim off so it's not overhanging and now I've got all of those kind of crease lines so now I can just lie it down and with my bone folder burnish the lines so they're nice and neat back in again and just check that you're happy and that now becomes a really nice belly band so now before I stick it together I want to stamp so I'm going to just grab my stamp position here I've got so much mess I'm usually a tidy crafter but it's really messy today okay just bring this one take that one off just from my last one and I want to have that happy that happy birthday, that happy Father's Day going right through the centre here. So bring this one out and it should fit. Look at that, it's like it was made for it. Because I didn't I got the stamp after I'd done the, the sizings and stuff for this, so it's literally just worked out really well. So that's that. Pick that one up. And then I'm using the Stamping Up Dapper Denim Colour because this was the one that worked, matched best with my foam. And something stuck there, get rid of that. A little glue, doesn't want to leave. Okay. I haven't used this for ages, so I can't remember if it stamps nicely or not, but it should do. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I think I'm going to colour it in like it but I want it it looks a bit flat I need to lift that up a bit so I'm gonna color that all in okay so I completely changed this I stamped it and I didn't like it I started coloring it in I didn't like it I added stars and I didn't like it and I even put that little gem on it and I didn't like it so I scrapped it all I thought nope 
there's a reason maybe that I haven't used that for a long time so it is nice I just would have preferred it if it was filled in I don't like that it's just a you've got to color it in so anyway so I raided my other um, uh, stamps and I've remembered I had this one and it's got this really nice pen and this is the Dewcraft stationery collection from last year um, so I just stamped two of them and I just think it looks I've just gone really simple and I really like it now um, I think this would work lovely for a craft fair be a really really nice gift so that's what I've done so I then also put another bit of card behind it and this piece measures five and a half because this was five the white piece so yeah so it's given me a nice little belly band there and obviously that all ties in nicely together so yeah now I'm, I'm happy with it so again I can pop my pen in there and that all sits in nicely like so so there you have it so two really really nice pen boxes and um yeah perfect for craft fairs perfect for birthdays father's day all that kind of stuff as well christmas you name it it's great so i hope you enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to see more thanks for watching bye